Cup is a product designed to prevent home intruders. Hi Sharks, I'm Tony and this is Aaron, and we're from Gilbert, Arizona. Sharks, worldwide, there are intruders breaking into our home right now. Now, we are talking about spiders, cockroaches, scorpions, bed bugs, ants, and even rodents, ooh. <laughs> but these nasty, creepy crawlers do not stand a chance with our product. We're here today to introduce Slick, Slick Barrier. Barrier. Slick Barrier is a pesticide-free physical barrier. It goes around the base of your home, you just apply it a few inches on your house or on anything you do not want creepy crawly pests to crawl on. No poisons at all. When you apply Slick Barrier to the base of your home, it dries hard, smooth, and slick. It's a physical barrier system that stops crawling pests from climbing up. Like if you look at our displays over here, sharks, the red house doesn't have any protection at all. And you can see there's scorpions that have already started to move in. The blue house has our protection on it and it's protected by the slick barrier. We even have a rodent right here that has a post and that rodent can't climb that post because it's also protected with slick barrier. Sharks, our patented technology is the future of pest control. So sharks, we are asking for $500,000 for 10% of our business. But wait, before you give us an offer, we think it's only fair to have you, sharks, come up and test our products for yourselves. Kevin, you're a rodent. <laughs> Kevin, I'm looking right. at you, man. All right. Kevin, we have a surprise for you. So we decided that we needed to have some pests to test our product, right? And yeah. we heard you had a special relationship with a particular type of pest. And what we're talking about is... Oh. Cockroaches! Oh. Say it, Kevin, say it. It's a family reunion. Oh no, Kevin. It's been years since I spoke roach. Oh. These guys God. heard you were talking about them and they yeah. wanted to meet you firsthand. But, but Mr. Wonderful, those bricks are protected with our slick barrier coating. That is Feel free nasty. to step right up and show them how it works. Okay, you want me to step on them? We do. We do. Oh. Oh. Even though he has a special relationship with them, oh. they're not getting it. <laughs> I am impressed. They're not going up the side of the plastic. Yes. Come on off, Kevin. Thank you so much for doing that. So we want to one-up you guys and take this to the next level <laughs> with Scorpions! Oh. Oh. These are Arizona bark scorpions. They're the most venomous scorpions, I, I, or one of the most venomous in the world. And these scorpions, they cannot climb the slick barrier product. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand on these blocks and we're gonna pitch. And we're not gonna get off these blocks until you guys give us okay. a deal. When it comes to the poison <laughs> scorpions, I think I've done my thing already. I'm out of here. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wonderful. All right, guys, let's do this. You guys have a couple of materials in front of you, a box. What we wanted to show you was all the different types of materials that we could put this product on. Mark, we also did some studies with uh, some universities. So Texas A&M, New Mexico State University, cool. they've tested it on bed bugs, they tested it on roaches, they've tested it really? on scorpions. I just want to point something out. They're not climbing up the brick, I get that, but they're also not climbing up the plexiglass. Does right. that mean I should put plexiglass around the base of my house? Yeah, so my house was infested with these scorpions right here. Me and my wife could wow. not get them out. So wow. it was a frustrating experience. We tried going through the regular pest control channels and we battled these things for years. I ended up getting stung, horrible experience. She's like, I don't know, we're gonna have to sell our house that we just bought because we can't live like this. I noticed, just like Kevin said, they couldn't climb up smooth surfaces. If I could coat my foundation with a product that made this same type of surface, then I could keep these things out of my house and it worked. It stopped them. But don't they typically come in through pipes underneath? Or a hole in a wall somewhere. So every single crawling pest starts from the ground up. Wait, quick question. You're not, your background isn't pesticides or like? No, I've been in, I've been in sales and corporate sales pretty much my whole life. But you know what, guys, I give you credit. I took a look at your third party testing from New Mexico State and from Texas A&M, and the results were amazing. In neither case 
did the scorpions climb the wall? So there was zero penetration. So it was really cool. Okay, so tell us about your sales. In 2020, that was the first year we had sales and we had $180,000 in sales. Was that just for product or the, including your service? That was just service. We were not selling the product at that oh, time. So that was for your service. Mm -hmm. Two With guys to coat my house. How about 2021? So total revenue for the entire year was about 650,000. In 21. In 21. Services only, services 450,000 was service. Okay. About 200,000 was selling the product. The and who plan, were you selling it to? We were selling it to pest control companies. Okay. And then starting in 2022, we wanted to just solely focus on selling the product. So the product that you guys have in front of you here is our most recent product. It's a water-based product. We sold about $50,000 just in the last month. It does not require a mask. It's as easy to use as paint. Right now, our vision for the future is to go consumer, but we still intend on pushing it into the pest control side. Here, here's the problem I'm having. 10%, $500,000, a piece of $5 million valuation. You guys make no money whatsoever. You don't even have to tell me that. I know, because I speak rat. Right. All right, the rat said, <laughs> no dough here. When we first started this company, we, we figured out that it worked. And then at that point, we decided to raise capital. But why is it worth oh, you've five million million dollars? So, yes. so, so we've, we've raised capital. How much have you raised? At the end of 2020, we raised uh, about half a million dollars. Ooh. And the most recent one, we raised 700,000 at like a $3 million valuation. So what do you sell the product to pest control companies? Our for? average price is $70. So what does it take to do your house? Um, it takes roughly about two gallons, two to two and a half gallons. So 150 bucks. Yeah. What do they charge the end user? So, so the the average charge is about $1,400 to go out and do the service. And do you get a percentage of that at all? No, we just sell okay. the product directly. The big problem with pest control is there's no innovation. It's just spray, 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 spray. And guess what? They're banning these Look, products. The idea that you don't take a percentage of that service revenue is insane. You're gonna have to sell so much in order to have a real business to justify your valuation. I just don't see how you guys can get there. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. Look, for the consumer brand, what does it cost to sell? What does it cost to make? That's why we're here. Right now, to actually have this product delivered in our warehouse, we're paying $30 for one gallon. What do you sell it for? We sell it for $100. Huge mistake. Let me take a stab at this. I know the cockroach community. I'm very familiar with the scorpion community. But I got to tell you something. Your valuation, 500000 for 10%, I can't decide if you're cockroaches or scorpions or both. Because both. this business is not worth $5 million. But I'm looking at this as the beginning of the journey. You know, not even started yet because you want to go to consumer. You Dude. proved your model of selling Crazy. services. I can't get there on valuation. I'm out. Sure, Tony, Kevin. Aaron. Um, your product is great, but I don't think any house is a completely solid vacuum. Like, they're gonna get in, so I can't get there. I, I just, I can't, and the rats are just freaking me right out. <laughs> I'm out. Well, and, and that's, I'm you out, know. guys. When you live in the Northeast, when it gets cold, those pests and those critters, they're coming into the house. They're gonna find a way in there. And oh, when yeah. I'm from in New York, when I get locked out of my house, I'd call a rat to let me in the house. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're, they're not stopping these things. I'm sorry, I'm out. Listen, first of all, one thing people really hate is pests. Right. And anything that can harm them or their family. Right. So, scorpions, rats, cockroaches, bed bugs, you Kevin. know. <laughs> I think you are in desperate need of a shark because this isn't really your thing. So, I am going to take a flyer on you. Wow. But there's conditions. I'll give you the $500,000, I want 15%. Okay. And I'm going to give it to you, 100,000 up front and the rest is a loan. Because I really see this as dicey. But I think that people would want to spray their home with it and at least give it a go. Even if it cuts down the amount that gets in, it's better to have one scorpion than 500. What are okay? the terms of the note? So the terms of the note, uh, two years 
whatever the standard rate is, I can easily figure out how this can be a great consumer product. I look at what can I take with it and make happen. Right. So I have no worry about that. And then I think I can just help you immensely with the licensing because I've yeah. done it, you know, You guys understand so many the times. offer, right? 100,000? We, 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 we do. Steep. It's, it's steep in some ways, but you know. We know exactly why we need you. We need help on the consumer side. We need help on the well, side. So now you know, side. right? So what do you want to do? You want to talk to the rats first? Could, could we... I so want to do this with you, Lori. So By the bad, way, you like... struck out with every other shark. There's only one offer <laughs> She's here. only taking 5% more than you're asking. What is there to think about? There's not. Let's do it. Let's do yeah! it. All right, let's do it. I can't believe I'm in this like business. <laughs> but we'll get rid of these horrible thank things. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I guys. think it's really thank cool. I mean, if it works, it's really cool. Thank you, guys. All right, good. Thank, thank you, guys, you so much. Well done. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Sharks said no to us, that was hard to hear. But then there was Lori. For us to move into consumer with our marketing, branding, and even manufacturing, we needed a shark to get us there. Aaron and I can have the next 20 years and we'd be successful, but having Lori, that's gonna accelerate the process. Wait, you're not subscribed to the Shark Tank YouTube channel? Well then, for that reason, I'm out.